You hear that? Do you, you hear that? You, you, yeah. I think, what is that? Oh yeah, that's the fucking war cry. You understand? Because I am at war. With who? You may ask. Susan Wojcicki and Mark Zuckerberg. From day one, these two just absolute pieces of trash have been messing with me, messing with my Facebook, and more importantly, messing with the Awkward Silence Facebook and YouTube channel for no reason. I'm a pretty swell guy. I'm a pretty, pretty nice guy. I'm a pretty kind guy. I'm a pretty respectable guy. I pay my taxes. I pay my bills. I don't cheat on my wife. And all of a sudden, Facebook, YouTube, Susan Majitsky, Mark Zuckerberg, decide to take on me like Amber Heard took a in Johnny Depp's bed. If you haven't noticed, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm pretty angry. I'm pretty freaking upset. I've been doing... I, I, maybe you've noticed a lack of content. Maybe you've noticed it on both the Facebook page and on the YouTube page. It's not because I've been busy. As a matter of fact, I've had more free time than just about any other time in my life. You know what's been happening? You want to know what's been happening? A couple of <laughs> have been trying to destroy everything I've worked for. And I've, I've said nothing against that particular group of people. Like, yeah, did I make fun of Yeah, I, but this is what happened. Ever since I said what I said about stupid, stupid Ethan, who is an idiot, who's getting canceled by now, by the way, isn't that ironic? For, like, whatever stuff he said about the gay dude. Ethan Klein of H3H3. Get this. This is, this is just a little tangent. Just to pad the runtime of the video. Ethan, as I said, is, a, like, an actual retard. Ethan's a dumb, dumb fo- On his stupid show, that he was talking about James Charles as a power bomb. James Charles, who is a notorious, notorious homosexual, who's, um, multiple times, multiple times been caught trying to have sex with children. Pulling old Chris D'Elia. I'm of the opinion that if you get caught multiple times trying to fuck kids, then chances are you fucked at least a child. Like, I don't think that you, with any level of fame, knowing how stupid women or men are, I guess, just how dumb they are before the age of 24, just how absolutely stupid every human being before the age of 24 is. All of them. It doesn't matter. Like, race, sex, gen... Like, doesn't matter. Everyone before the age of 24 is an idiot. And, like, most people after are too. But, like, every single person before the age of 24 is so incredibly stupid. It's not... The voting age should be increased to 25. Honestly. They're... They, like, the restrictions on voting... Like, they're talking about, like, um, in a lot of these Democrat states, how you need to have an ID to vote, and that's racist. I don't think that that's restrictive enough. I think we need to be four times more restrictive on who's able to vote, because way too many stupid, stupid fucking people, like Ethan Klein, are able to vote. And people with those audiences, their audiences vote the same way, because they're just as stupid. Like, it's so incredibly amazing to me how stupid people are. And I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but, like, I can read and figure stuff out because, like, as a human, that's kind of what you do. Like, this is just another side tangent. This is just something that I didn't know this was a nerve that I had, but, like, I struck it hard, and it's really bothering me. Another thing on Facebook, I've realized just how absolutely just dumb everyone is. S just so stupid. I'll t I'll, and I'll explain to you this in a couple of different stories on just how absolutely fucking dumb most people are. You know Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street? Where does this dude just f on his Facebook page talking about how great Jordan Belfort is? It's like he made so much money and had sex with these women. First off, making money... Making a bunch of money does not make you a good or successful person. It means you can make money. And how did Jordan Belfort make his money? By scamming people. That's not, that's not like an accomplishment. And the fact that Jordan Belfort, looking like he looks, 
could have sex with all these beautiful women just shows that women are less valuable than money and should be treated as such. Because women will put money above themselves and men will put money above women, which is how it should be. And um, this guy was just sucking Jordan Belford's stick and talking about, oh, he's so rich. He's a, he lost all that money. He may claim to have this massive, like, huge net worth, but all that money is going off to the uh, people that he robbed. And uh, the other one, who was it? Who was it? I don't, I don't remember what the... I get in a lot of Facebook art. Looking at me, a lot of people assume that because I'm black, I'm a Democrat. And I want to squash that bug, squash that notion as soon as possible. I'm further to the right than fucking Pinochet. Understand me. I am an American supremacist to the extreme. I don't think that America is better than your country. I know America is better than your country. It doesn't matter what country you're from. Even America is better than other parts of America. Like America is so much better than the rest of the world. And I get that like our government is ran by old retards. Hey, oh! Oh, fuck everything. Forget the last six minutes. Have you heard of the West Memphis Three? Have you? Bro, let me tell you about- So these three little boys go- Like, they get brutally tortured and horrifically murdered. And these three- One's a retard, and these uh, two other, like, non-retarded teenagers, they get taken in and, like, basically made to- uh, Made to confess to a crime they didn't commit. In Arkansas. Now, this is where this story gets fucking insane. After years and years and trials and stuff, which basically proves them innocent- right in like 2010 they take a plea deal which is they admit to a lesser charge of second degree murder and also in this plea deal they're not allowed to try the state for wrongful imprisonment or sue the state for um the time that they had to spend in jail for a crime they didn't commit the governor of arkansas and like the attorney general have refused to retry the case have refused multiple times, even though new evidence has come up, showing, proving, guaranteeing that these three people are innocent. And before I was really reading it, I was a big proponent, pro I was a big supporter, we'll say, of the death penalty. Because I believe, like, a pedophile, you fuck a kid, you should be executed. You murder a family, you should be executed, period. There should be no question about it. However, comma... Seeing as our justice and legal system is so flawed, is so incredibly flawed, I would rather have five guilty people escape than one innocent person be murdered. In this West Memphis 3 case, it just reminds me of like, if you look into it, it's like all the times that a black person, it was like a lynching without the lynching. And they weren't black. Like it's, read the case, the, our legal system in the United States of America is so corrupt and dog shit, I, do, I don't know how it's made it to this point. You have murderers, actual murderers and pedophiles getting away with shit. Like, there was a case in Ottumwa, Ottumwa, Iowa. These two fat, disgusting, inbred-looking fucks were fucking raping their younger sister for years. For years. And they spent a couple days, they're out now. They're completely fine, walking free. Back at the place they worked, have in, they didn't. Need, they got um like misdemeanors for raping their sister for years. What? And this is this is what I don't understand. Like left, right, liberal, conservative, it doesn't matter. You should not fuck with children. Period. Like I feel like that should be a line that just. Nobody crosses. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter who you vote for. It shouldn't matter what God you believe in. You should not be fucking with children. Literally or figuratively. Like all this, oh, gender transition shit for kids. All this, oh, let's talk to kids about sexuality. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, me, a likely autistic cunt, if I can see that there's something wrong with that, there should be... And the, our fucking... Supreme of uh, the newest Supreme Court justice who everyone's sucking her fucking chode because she happens to be black Has a career of being lenient on pedophiles. Is that someone you want shaping 
our fucking laws for the rest of her lifetime because she's black i on i don't under i really don't understand how how it can be and i'll speak to my my people black people specifically did you know that 51 percent of us are illiterate can't read can't write Less than 13% of us we make up in America, and yet we commit more than 50% of the violent crimes. Maybe it's past time we stop blaming fucking Whitey or anybody else for our problems and start looking in our own fucking homes. Because as Hobson said, why do black people got to be the only ones that can't evolve? Because you're in the streets acting like a Neanderthal. Hate to say it, but I said it. I said, like, from the time Tupac said it, I see no changes. And this, is, this isn't at all where I wanted to go with this video, but uh, here we are. We're at one of those, like, I know it's, everyone's always saying, oh, this crisis is happening, this crisis is happening. Believe it or not, this actually is a fucking crisis. Black people, as like a whole, we are failing. And a lot of it comes from, like, the coddling we get from liberal whites, who are, like, just pure evil in my opinion, but... Read a book. And for the love of God. For the love of God. Don't take your fucking information from TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. Actually go. And do. I know it's difficult. I know so many people can't read. Or think reading's hard. Or boring. But historical illiteracy is literally literally killing us whole lot more shit coming stay motivated